Hey guys, welcome to uh, your math boxes 8-1. We're just going to walk through these together. They are not for a grade. Um, coming up soon, math boxes 8-4 will look a lot like this, and they will be for a grade if we end up doing it. So uh, just, I should probably get rid of my gum. Be cool. I mean, be cool. Okay. Uh, so this is math boxes 8-1. The first problem says what fraction, I think it would be better as a song. What fraction of the distance from 0 to 1 did the triangle move? What distance did the fraction of 0 to 1 did the triangle move? Yeah, no, it's not better as a song. Yeah, you know, sometimes you take risks and it pays off, and sometimes it doesn't. All right, what fraction of the distance from zero to one did the triangle move? By the way, this is in your math journal, page 254. Page 254. So if you don't have that ready yet, get it out, and let's go. What fraction of the distance from zero to one did the triangle move? It went from uh, zero sixths all the way down to here, I'm tempted to say it went the whole way and that it was from 0 to 1, but I want to just check it by counting by sixths. Sixths. So 0 sixths to 1 sixth, 2 sixths, 3 sixths, 4 sixths, 5 sixths, and 6 sixths. So it went the whole way. It went all six of the jumps. So it went six Sixths. That looks like a G, and so does that, but that's okay. Six sixths. This says fill in the blanks. Two times ten plus three is the same thing as something plus ten times two. So remember when you're doing equals, you want just two sides of the equation to be equal. So two times ten, and over here I see ten times two. Those are equal. Plus three. So what should go in this first blank? I'm actually thinking we just need to put in a 3. I think we just need to put in a 3. Because 3 plus 10 times 2. Ten 2 times 10 is 20, plus 3 is 23. 10 times 2 is 20, plus 3 would be 23. So the two sides are equal. Okay, this one says 12 plus the product of 3 times 3 is the same thing as 3 times something plus 12. Um, hmm. I see a plus 12 here, and I see a plus 12 here. I see a 3 times 3 here and a 3 times something. So what's missing? Just another 3. Okay, this one says 5 times 4 times 2 is the same thing as something times 4 times 2. Now this one has some parentheses. Uh, so I could do 5 times 4 first, which would be 20. And uh, 20 times 2 would be 40. And here I've got in parentheses four times eight, four times, sorry, four times two is eight. Something times eight equals 40, and that would be five. So in this case, uh, that's a five with like a, a woodpecker's beak attached or something. Uh, but yeah, so five times four times two is the same thing as five times four times two. In this case, the parentheses don't actually matter that much because it's all multiplication and you could multiply in any order. Okay, last problem says something times 2 times 6 is the same thing as 2 times 2 times 6. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 6 is 24. On this side, 2 times 6 is in parentheses. That's 12. Something times 12 equals 24. That's also 2. And when I read it, 2 times 2 times 6, 2 times 2 times 6. Okay, because of the commutative property of multiplication, you can multiply in any order. Um, so it doesn't really matter about the parentheses as much. When you're doing addition uh, and subtraction, when you're doing mixed um, operations, it does matter a lot what the parentheses say. Use fraction tools or drawings. Chris ran 7 eighths of a mile and Adam ran 5 eighths of a mile. Who ran the greater distance? Okay, without even using tools, we should be able to look at this one. It says to use tools, so we will. Um, but I just want to think about it real quick. Uh, 7 eighths and 5 eighths, they have the same denominator, right? 7 eighths and 5 eighths have the same denominator. So we really can just look at the numerator 
and the one with the greater numerator is the bigger fraction. So Chris ran 7 eighths of a mile, Adam ran 5 eighths of a mile. Which is bigger, 7 or 8? 7. So who ran the greater distance? That's Chris. Now we could just quickly try and draw a picture to uh, show that. And I think for this one, a, a number line might be a good one. So let me just draw a quick line. And let me uh, put in some fractions here. We're going to go uh, 0 eighths, 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, 8 eighths. All right. So, um, golly, this is going to be tough. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to have a hard time writing all of these, but... We'll just label this as 0, 8, and we'll label this all the way down here as 8, 8, and uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths right here. That was where Adam went. And down here at 6, 7 eighths, this is where Chris went. So who went further? Well, Chris did. Compare 7 eighths and 5 eighths, right? Greater than, less than, or equal to. 7 eighths is greater than 5 eighths. Number four says write the times. Starting time. Um, so with a clock, I'm looking at the hands. The hour hand is here between 7 and 8. Uh, so it's 7 something p.m. And it, the minute hand is a pointing at, <laughs> extreme close up. It's pointing at the two, and we count those by five minutes. So 5, 10. So 7, 10 p.m. And uh, over here, it's still between 7 and 8. It's really close to 8, but it's not past 8. Still, So it's still 7 something. And let me see if it'll let me zoom in. Yeah, okay, that's pointing right at the 11. And that's in five minute jumps. So like, here's 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 7.55. You'll get to a point someday where um, you won't have to skip count by five, so you'll just be able to know that like where what the numbers mean, like that 11 means 55. There are some clocks and watches that don't even have any numbers on them. They just have um, like dashes and hash marks. Anyway, how much time passed from the start time to the end time? So the start time is 7.10 p.m. The end time is 7.55 p.m. You could solve this a bunch of ways. You could just do 55 minus 10 because it's still in the same hour. Or you can actually look at the clock and count. Like here is 7, 10 and count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 45 minutes. Either way you solve it, you should still get 45 minutes as the elapsed time. How much time passed? Okay. Question five says writing and reasoning. Explain how you used your fraction tools or drawings in problem three to compare 7 eighths and 5 eighths. How did you use your fraction tools or drawings in problem three to compare seven eighths and five eighths? Well, we ended up using a number line. So I'm gonna say I drew a number line that showed uh, zero eighths to eight eighths. Then I found where five eighths and seven eighths were on that number line. And I saw that seven eighths was closer to the whole, so it was the bigger fraction. fraction. So that's how I would explain it. Uh, if you would explain it another way, go ahead and write that up, and uh, thanks a lot. Bye.